In this short video, we're going to show you what would happen in RAM structural system if you were to move grid lines. Now, if any structural members were created in conjunction with grid lines or grid intersections, moving a grid line will have a stretching effect on your model and some rework of framing might be required. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to move grid line E. So I'm going to go back to edit my grids. So I'm going to go to my main grid system. And what we can do is we can go ahead and move grid line E. Maybe instead of at 84 feet, it should be moved over 6 feet to 90 feet. We're going to enter the new grid coordinate and then enter change. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. And OK again. Now RAM structural system will provide us with a warning to let us know that this will have a stretching effect. It'll provide us with an opportunity to do a save as with the model if we're not quite sure what the full implications of this change will be. I'm going to go ahead and just click Save. And then you can see that grid line E moved. All of the columns that were modeled along grid line E moved as well. Uh, and basically what it did was it had a stretching effect. So the girders and the beams on the right side of grid line E got shorter. The ones on the left hand side of grid line E got longer. So this is a change where not much rework would need to happen. But let's say, for example, I moved grid line 4. So let's go back up and we're going to, again, edit our main grid system. Let's go to our Y grids this time. And for grid line 4, let's move it up to about 85 feet. So I'm going to enter my new coordinate, click Change, and then OK. And now you can see that grid line four moved. Now I created a generation in each of these bays and I told the program I want equally spaced beams. So maintain that equal spacing, but then you can see here I have very tight spacing. Perhaps over here I might want to change that, maybe eliminate some beams or rearrange some things. So those are some scenarios where you might need to those are some scenarios where you might need to do some reframing. Um, say, for example, this bay has gotten smaller, so instead of four equal spaces, I want three. And then I can lay out my new system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.